Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I uh, hope you're having a good day. I'm just hanging in my basement. My daughters call it my troll hole. It's where I work. Um, so yesterday I gave you a bunch of picture puzzles to solve that involve the idea of equality in algebra. Basically the idea is, is that whatever you do to one side of an equal sign is fine just as long as you do to the other side of an equal sign. So we're going to look at that same idea today as we start to solve some math equations. Now I'm going to do two videos today that go through a bunch of different examples. Now what this first slide says is that we're going to solve equations in the form x plus or minus a equals b. Now what that means is we're going to solve equations that have some variable x plus or minus some number equals another number. And we're going to do that by what's called isolating the variable. Isolating means make the variable, the letter x, by itself and that will help you solve the equation. Now, I want to focus in on this first equation. We're going to use this idea of equality. You have an equal sign there. And remember, whatever you do to one side of an equal sign, you have to do to the other side of an equal sign. And we're going to use this idea to simplify number equations just like we did it with pictures yesterday. So I want to show you what you do. So what you do is you find the variable. In this question, the variable is x. And you look at what's beside the variable. Beside the variable is a minus 2 or a negative 2. You're always going to do the opposite of what's beside the variable. So the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. Whoa, i got to fix my pen there. Let me just fix the thickness. There we go. We'll erase that. So the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. And you write that right below the minus 2. Whatever you do to one side of an equal sign, you do to the other side of an equal sign. Uh, so I'm going to do negative 7 plus 2. You need to show me that. That's really important to show the idea of understanding equality in algebra. Now let's simplify what's left as we work down the page. The minus 2 plus 2 cancel out, right? They make 0. So I'm left with x. That's exactly what I want to be left with. I want to isolate the variable. That means make the variable by itself. Now let's see what's left on the other side of the equal sign. On the other side of the equal sign, negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. And we solved the equation. The value of x is negative 5. If you were to replace... I'm just going to erase something here. If you were to replace the x in the equation with negative 5, it should work out. So if I replace the x with negative 5 negative 5 and negative 2 make negative 7. What you have to show me in each question, you have to show me what you're doing to both sides of the equal sign. In this case, we were um, adding 2 to both sides of the equal sign. You have to show me that, this part right here, and you have to show me the answer, and you have to work down the page. Uh, when we eventually do this for marks, these will be one mark each. One mark for the work, one mark for the answer. Let's look at another one. I'm going to skip to a second example. Okay, number two. The variable is p plus 7 equals negative 18. So find the variable. It's p. Look at what's beside the variable. Positive 7. So do the opposite of what is beside the variable. The opposite of beside, positive 7 is negative 7. And I do that to both sides of the equal sign to maintain equality. Now the plus 7 minus 7 cancels out and I'm left with the value of p equals negative 18, negative 7 is negative 25. And if I was to replace the p with negative 25, negative 25 plus 7 does equal negative 18. Done. Let's look at another one. Number 3. y minus 6 equals negative 4. Well, find the variable. The variable is y. Beside the variable is a minus 6 or a negative 6. The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. If I do that to one side of the equal sign, I have to do it to the other. Positive 6. Work down the page and see what's left. Minus 6 plus 6 cancel, which is what I want. Gives me y. 
negative 4, positive 6. The signs are different, so you subtract. And since you have more positives, the answer is positive 2. You now have the value of y. Making sense yet? Maybe not. We're going to do a whole bunch more examples. I'm going to do two more on this video. Three more, I think, actually. n plus 7 equals negative 11. Well, the variable is n. Beside the n is a positive 7. The opposite of positive 7 is negative 7. If I do it to that side of the equal sign, I have to do it to the other side of the equal sign. Work down the page and see what's left. Positive 7, negative 7 cancel out. I'm left with n. On the other side of the equal sign, negative 11, negative 7. The signs are the same. You add them and have 18 negatives. Never going to get away from our integers, right? Okay, two more we're going to do in this video. And you see it's the same thing every time, right? Just some different integer things we have to remember. Now in this one, what's going to be different is that the variable, this variable is k, is on the other side of the equal sign. But it doesn't matter, you do everything the same. This time, Look beside the variable. Beside the variable is positive 8. Okay? Do the opposite of positive 8. It's minus 8. Do it to both sides of the equal sign. Over here is minus 8. Now keep everything in the exact same spot it was before. Negative 12, negative 8 works out to negative 20. The signs are the same, so you add them. On the other side of the equal sign, the positive 8, negative 8 cancel, and I'm left with k. The value of k is negative 20. All the same stuff, except this time the variable was on the other side of the equal sign. Last question for this video. I'm going to do one more separate video after this, just so the files aren't too large. Okay. 14 equals t plus 15. Well... Find the variable t. Beside the t is a positive 15. Do the opposite of positive 15, which is negative 15 or minus 15. And do the same thing on the other side. 14 minus 15, or 14 negative 15. When you work that out, you get negative 1 here. And on the other side, the positive 15, negative 15 cancel. And I'm left with t and I have the value of my variable. I'm going to do another uh, video that has some a little bit trickier questions, but uh, that should get you going. Hopefully this is making a little bit of sense. Um, trust me, I'm flexing right now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.